In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make gradient text in Photoshop. All right, so obviously to start, we need some text. So I'm gonna go over here to my type tool, click on this. I'm gonna change my color here just cause I'm gonna show you something in just a second. So I'm gonna pick just like this kind of green blue. I'm gonna click on my canvas and I'm gonna type gradient text and I'm just gonna move it kind of into place. And I'm gonna scoot this over here cause now I'm gonna to go to my text layer and I'm gonna click on this FX button and I'm gonna put a gradient overlay on. That's gonna bring up the layer style menu. That's why I kind of moved it over to the side here so we can see our text still. And now we can play around with a bunch of things. The first thing here is blend mode. And the reason why I changed this blue green is because whatever you change your blend mode to here, it's going to blend with the color of your original text. So mine was that blue green. So it's gonna blend your gradient with that color underneath. So depending on what you pick here, you're gonna get a different look that'll blend the gradient here with this color, okay? So I'm just gonna put it back to normal and we can go from there. Okay, next is opacity. Obviously, if you drop this, it's gonna reveal the original color of the text. So since it was this blue-green, it's gonna reveal that. If yours was white, then it would reveal white. If you click up here, that brings up our gradient editor, which allows us to manipulate our colors and opacity and stuff. Up top, there's a bunch of presets. So if you just drop these down, you can click from ones that already exist, or you can pick one and then manipulate the colors and opacity yourself down here to customize it. So up top, just know that these are the opacity sliders. So when they're black, they're 100% opacity, which means we see the colors that are underneath them. But if I were to click on one and drag it down, you can see that it's transparent, which means we will see through it and not see the color. Okay, so, and remember that we're seeing through to that blue, which was my original text in this case. Okay, so I'm gonna slide that back up. If you wanna change colors, all you have to do is click on one of the boxes and then click down here, which will open up your color picker and then you can just change it to whatever you want. Click okay. You can also add colors by just clicking in a new spot. And then obviously you can click down here and change them to what you want as well. Uh, you can also change the colors by just double clicking on the box and that'll open up the color picker too. You can move the boxes around, which will change how the gradients look. So Let's just say for these two here, the closer you have two boxes together, the more harsh the transition is gonna be. You might even see like kind of like a line between them. And the further you have them apart, the more gradual the transition is gonna be between the two colors. You can also adjust that by moving these midpoints. So if you go towards the green in this case, it's gonna favor more orange in that transition. And if I move it this way, it's gonna favor more green. If you wanna get rid of a color, all you have to do is click on it and drag it out and then I'll get rid of it. And that's about all you need to know in here for now. I'm just gonna go into this purple. It's a little bit harsh and bring this up to be like a brighter thing to make our gradient look a little bit better so it pops a little bit more and then I'm gonna click okay. Okay, so now everything else in here is just another way to manipulate how this gradient looks on our text. So to start, let's just click on reverse here. That's just gonna flip the direction that the colors go. So it was going from orange to blue, even here, orange to blue. But if I click reverse, it's now gonna go from blue to orange. So I'm gonna uncheck that. Right here we have style. So right now we have it on linear and that means it's just going from one side to the next. If I change it to radial, it's gonna be a circle in the middle here and then radiate out. And just so you know, you can click on here and move this wherever you want at any given time. So I'm gonna place that in the middle so you can see that radial would come from the middle. If you go to angle, it's kind of a weird one. It has like a harsh line and then it's gonna transition from one color, one side of your gradient all the way around to the other. If I go to reflected, it's gonna have the main color at the start here in the middle, and it's gonna have a gradient that goes out both ways the same to your other color on the other side. And then the last one here is diamond, which is very similar to radial, but now it's in the shape of a diamond. So I'm gonna put this back to linear. Angle is pretty obvious. It just changes the angle that it goes from. So if I go this way, it's gonna go from you know orange on this side to blue over there, whichever way this is pointing. So if I point this down, orange is gonna be at the top and then to blue on the bottom. So I'm just gonna put this at kind of like an angle, maybe like that. And then down here is scale. So if I crank this up, you're gonna see that it makes the transition much more gradual. But if I crank this way down, you're gonna see that it pushes the colors closer together and makes the transitions a little bit more harsh. Well, that looks pretty good. But if I crank this even further down, you can see that it's gonna 
take your two outside colors and just crunch the other stuff right in the middle and make kind of a harsh transition. So I'm gonna go kind of like that so we can see all of our colors that exist in the gradient. And again, you can click here and move it as you wish. And that's it. That's everything you need to know about making gradient text in Photoshop. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.